Welcome back to Dragon Quest XI, everybody. This is Kill Me Horde, and I I've been I have been recommended some things as well. That uh, but I need I need to need to press the right buttons first of all. I I've been recommended to make another Natty uh, Kravit for uh, Sylvando here because it's just really good all around, you know. And, uh... Well, I do have a powerful knife. I've been recommended to give him another type of knife, possibly. Uh, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, actually. I'll tell you that right now. I don't even remember what it's called, but I know where it is. Stop. Magic. Zoom. Thank you. Warriors rested. There's like a poison needle or something. I can not to remember for the life of me. Symbol doesn't really line up to where you are, my friend. Poison needle. It can instantly kill the enemy if it strikes in the right spot. So, but I need to sell something be able to, you know, even use it because obvious reasons I don't have enough gold. I'm going to keep the butterfly knife, though. Um, this can go bye-bye. This can go bye-bye. These can go bye-bye. Whoop. So, poison needle. Uh, the equipment bag will hold it, and then I think it's my first time actually buying a weapon, like a full-on weapon. Oh, that's better. That's better for him. Like the the hat's nice, but look at that. Look at that. So the poison needle is a guaranteed. So it's only a plus one attack. So it's a guaranteed one damage as well, from what I've been told. Which definitely would be helpful. Uh, now I just need to go to a campsite. I can make another Natty Kravit. I just want to be at a camp when I do this. It's it's better uh, surroundings, you know. Let's see, I need another Nettie Krevet. Ouch, on my money, but it's well worth it. How was this one? How did I not get a? How did I not get perfect on this? I really don't understand how I didn't get perfect on this thing. I mean, look at that. Uh, oh, that's why. Because I couldn't... I didn't have enough focus. So I... Ew, this is going to be a close one. <coughs> if it's a plus two, that's fine. If I got two plus twos, that, that's fine with me. Uh, I definitely want to rework that... Poison needle I gave him. Just to be a, you know, quite a bit better than what it was. Try to make it a perfect one. Ding ding. Ding ding. Ding ding. 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 Perfect? There. See, now it's worth it. Um, I can rework my armor now. Rework Jade stuff. I should probably rework 
her armor. That's expansive. The equipment for Eric. He's got it already. So, uh, what's the assassin taking? Oh, I got I got multiple points of managing to instant kill. Veronica doesn't really need anything new. So Vando needs his Natty Kravitz. He could use that Cloak of Evasion, but I don't want to cut his defense and charm down real bad. Let's well, make it use a tortoise shell. Yeah, you can have that tortoise shell, man. What's the devil steel do? Well, I want him to have something nicer. Serena needs that carry of Ray. And Garter is for defensive charm. And keep the robe of serenity. Um, I have you outfitted fully, don't I? Yeah. See, like, look, look, I've got, I've got a lot of stuff here that can definitely do better, but I am not getting rid of Jimmo's charm, regardless of consequence. It's just a cement, a blah, 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 sentimental value, you know? Puerto Valor, let's go. Where are you? Uh, yeah, stuff. I have quests, don't I? Oh, iron ore for Smith's. Iron ore, that thing. Somebody named Valentino here. I don't even know who this Valentino fella is. Okay? Like, I really don't even know who this is. Like, I don't, I don't know who he is. Um, shoot, I, I can just... I can go do the hotel thing right now. Pretty sure I have iron ore. If I don't, then that's a different issue. If I don't have iron ore to give to this guy, it's whatever. I don't even need this book. I just have it. Kind of want it. Thank you. I just quest is done. You know, I wonder if I don't want to talk to you anymore, dude. I wonder if Valentino, because. No, I, I can't find. I didn't find him in town at all. I wonder if he's just in that beach hut or whatever, and I didn't because I didn't talk to anybody over there. He's probably just in that beach hut. Go. Yeah, that like circular thing towards the bottom of the map. Yeah. He's probably just chilling out in there.
Ching 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 You're not Valentino. Oh, that's Valentino. Hey, Valentino. Uh... Return to that lady in freaking Gondolia. Whatever. At least Jasper's guards aren't going to be uh, mobbing me this time like they were last time. I'm too jingly. Flop. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to run into your face, lady. Oh no, the brother. Um. Drama about family. Telling her to, the father was telling her to be a baker and not, or telling Valentino to refuse to treat his legs so she can be a baker with the money that she saved up. It was being all roundabout about it, so I got a mini medal out of it though. Got me a mini medal. I just need two more mini medals though before I get anything good. Magic, zoom. Worth of Valor. God, I love having Zoom. Can you imagine if I had to walk the entire way here and back and there and back and there and back the entire time? I think I would lose my mind if I had to do that. Well, talk to the Don Rodrigo. I think that was his name, if I remember right. Senor Roberto, Roberto, so wonderful to see you after so many years. And your companions too, of course. Good to see you looking so well, Cervantes. Now, I don't suppose Don Rodrigo's about for a wee chat, is he? Ah, lo siento, senor, so sorry. But I am afraid he has gone to Eliador. He is instructing the guards there in the art of swordsmanship, you see. Ah, now that's a shame. I do so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and... fighting. Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? It's a very it roundabout way of pleasure, asking. Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> I will open them right away. If you go on board your ship, you will be able to sail straight through. You're a good man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, won't you? No, it was that easy. Just walk in here, say, hey, what's up? Can I go through? And he said, yeah. That was all, that was just how easy it was. Well, time for me to leave town. Just have to make my way back to the, uh, the ship. 
And of course, I can't fast travel to a specific thing. Uh, but this way, I feel, is just a bit easier. Hello, Dave. Dave. Get me back on the ship. Shit, where's the way I'm supposed to go? This way. Hey, open these bitches. There's our pal, Cervantes. Give him a nice thank you wave, everybody. It most certainly is. Why is Sylph hiding? It doesn't, that's not like him, you know? That definitely wasn't like him. I don't know why he's hiding. Yeah, let's get out of here. She literally just smacked it with his with she literally just smacked the thing with her ass and it died. That's one hundred percent what she just fucking did. I forgot I'm forced into this now. I forget I was I, I forget that this happens. Every time I play this. Ugh, where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hey, Sylph, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, <laughs> I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard! are clearing. I can see light up ahead. Where in the world are we? Good question. There's a whole boat there. Let's see what they have to say. So, sorry honey, but I haven't a clue where we are. This island doesn't appear on any of my maps. I want to wave bye-bye to this forsaken place as soon as possible, but so long as the stallion's stuck on that sandbank, we're staying right here. Sorry, dollface, but the ship's stuck on a sandbar. We ain't going nowhere for the minute. Me and Silver are going to see if we can push the old girl free. You lot just sit tight. Everything will be sorted in no time. Uh, what's up, Eric? Something's not right about this place. No wind, no waves. This almost feels like time stopped altogether. Fascinating. Judging by the shape of the prow and the state of the planks, I wouldn't be, would not be surprised that this boat was built long before even I was born. Can I help but wonder if we strayed into the Valorian Triangle, you know? It's a bit of the sea where they say ships just up and disappear, never to be seen again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Bermuda Triangle stuff. What a pretty little island this is. It looks just like the one in the picture book I always used to read when I was little. I always said to Veronica that I'd like to go there and to meet the handsome prince who lived there too. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing here. Let's not waste any more time than we have to. As soon as the wind picks up, we're getting back on the hunt for the orbs. Your very go-getter attitude there. What a strange place. It's almost like being in a dream. You can say that again. Waited 
for you ever since the day we said goodbye. Oh, oh God, they're going to rhyme. Oh. I forgot oh. about the rhyming. Uh. Hey, what do you think you're playing at scaring us like that? And there's no need to look so disappointed to see us. Try to catch me in a net. You're different from most other human beings that I've met. My name's Michelle. I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright. It, it's just I thought my car was back and I got all excited. Wow. I can't believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid. But anyway... Who's this Kai you keep talking about? He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lulu Bay. He promised he would meet me here upon our wedding day. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, in that case, Shell, you better teach me how to swim. And so I got the blessing of the Queen beneath the sea. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. Oh, that's wonderful news. Congratulations. But he's supposed to meet me here so we can be together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Hmm. So you're from the bottom of the sea? Where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder. Aha! How about this? If we go and check on your fiance, will you take us down to see the queen? To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the Queen of the Sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? Uh, devious thoughts. I have to know what it says. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had a sudden urge to stretch my legs. Let me ask you that again. She was just gonna kick me in the face. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the... Thank you, thank you, all of you. I'd be indebted to you. If you could try to find him in the town of Lona Lulu. I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the south of Hotto. A beautiful blue Hotto. bay behind an isolated grotto. My Kai is a famous fisherman, as ragged as the ocean. A hunky, chunky sailor stuffed with smoldering emotion. Don't oh. ever say that to me again. Oh, now I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed.
Okay. I had a war with that Michelle, lovely girl, and you ain't gonna believe this. She only gone and used her mermaid powers to get the stallion moving again. We can leave whenever you're ready. Watch your boss back on board the stallion, that is. Yep. We're back aboard the stallion. Now, let me show you the map, okay? You see, I've got access to a lot of places right now. A lot of places. Now, what I'm going to do is go to some of these places. Like, uh, the island right over here. And I'm not going to go down to Lonolulu Bay this episode, maybe. I, I might get to it at the end of the episode. So I'm going to be exploring a lot of these places. You're ugly. Our work isn't done yet. Don't you snooze me, you... Zap. I'm zapping these spiked hairs because the threat snooze me. Oh, God. Thanks, Rab. Serena, kill yourself. Yeah. Fast, thanks, Jade. Ow! Cutting edge on the Jowler. Don't hit me, bitch. Oh my god! I got you, Serena. Serena, <laughs> heal Rab, please. Thank you. Let the darkness consume you! No! No! I kill this thing. Yes! Yes! That's the way to do it. Thank you, Jade. That leg sweep. Ow! That's why I have two healers right now. This guy hurts. What pet powers do I have? Just chop and churn? Not worth it. Bank. Nice, nice. There we go. Fourteen hundred or fourteen Yeah, fourteen hundred fifty seven experience. Yes. Veronica leveled up. Uh what was I looking into getting anti magic. That's what it is. Anti-magic sounds pretty chill. Uh, these are all orcs. I've killed all... I've killed orcs. There's a red door here. Oh, uh, man. Being a... He said he was a pirate. He used to pillage a time inferring that he was a pirate. I just stole his cash money that he put outside. Did you leave any cash money in your pots? Left a mini metal. See, magic door. And another door. Okay. Stay away. All right, Dave, let's go. Okay, um, there was another island over this way. I'll go there later in the story, so I don't have to go there right now. Dang it. Ow! 
Ow! Yes! Ow! You! Surrender your soul! Jeez, Rab. Surrender your soul! Why are you only attacking me? Ah, not bad at all. Oh, I've only got four. What was my plan here? Was my plan to go up until I get Giga Smash, or was it to get Frost Fangs? It's probably Frost Fangs. That is what uh, Michelle's power will let me use, that uh, glowing blue pillar in the background there. But since I don't have her power yet, I'm not allowed to do that stuff. Got him. Oh, these guys aren't much. Oh, oh Rab. Rab. You know what? Watch this. Here we go. Oh, I thought it was going to make some of them fly away. Because they all have wings. Jade. Jade has a lot of health. That's a bit much. Don't you heal him? Nice pep up. Bonk. Wonderful. Yeah. I don't know why you're wasting a mid heal on me right now. A Hades Condor. Oh god, my healer. Another day, another victory. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lo Lona Lulu will definitely come next episode and not this episode. I'll be too busy running around on this island here to be able to get very far in the story. Let me get this cut. Give me all that. Fairy fluff, narcissus. I don't know what the hell you are, but I should probably fight you. Treasure! A what? A what? A Lucida shard. Okay, cool. Um, do I have anything worth the crap? Ah, oh, this leveled up. It was yellow. That's how I know. Plus, you know, I got those iron recipes. Bonk! I'll kill you. Let's go! Don't you whack us! That thing cast whack. Those Terranons need to go. If they're casting whack, they need to go. They need to die. Oh, thank you. Bonk! Excellent. Another day, another vi- Please don't. Actually, this might be more helpful to do this. 
That way I don't have to travel. I'll just go fast travel to the strand. That's where this is. And then we'll, we'll leave again. This time travel south. It's like, hey, hey, look, at, look at the map. This is a big old island right here that I need to get onto. Lona Lulu's way over there. You guys are annoying, so. Don't you fizzle us. Don't you quit smacking me. Sab! She's wasting a lot of MP, but not really at all because the uh, MP regen she is. I set her up good with that MP regen. She's losing like 2 MP every time she casts that. Eric. I really can't do anything for you, man. Until I get a... I really went the mo most expensive way to get there, didn't I? <laughs> I guess victim victimizer is just worth it, I guess. I went the most expensive way to get dual wielding, it looked like. The other way would have saved me at least eight points, probably. Insula Incognita? Stop. Wave weed. What's out of here? Trolls? Hammer people? Two types of hammer people. Think. Iron, silver, silver. Teach your silly. Whoa. See that? He like stepped up on me. I was walking in front of him and he just had to go boom and take one step toward me. What's in here? Crafting comforting, comforting clothing. Robes of serenity. Get that constant HP regen for everybody. Oh, these guys. Cool. Gold ore. I might kill a Cyclops. Bonk! Oh god. Stay focused! <gasps> I got it. That didn't do a lot of damage. Thank Dear you. Princess. Thanks. Zam him, please. For the love of God, we need to kill this thing. Ow! Now! Stay on the ground. We'll kill you while you're on the ground. Boink. Why isn't he dead? Oh! Uh, I didn't get any XP for that. You no bastard. You... You little... I'll double mid heal myself. Okay. Get out of my way. Oh, this is story uh, important for a different act. See, I'll come all the way up there so I can look down and see those symbols, and then I'll think of some possible thing. 
Probably like a map or some crap. Thought I saw a pop -up. Well, once I get back to the ship, that's when I'm gonna end this episode. Be a minute before I get back to the ship. Take my sweet time, you know. Start walking instead of sprinting. Alright, well, I'm all out of time for this episode today, everybody. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.